I had the uh, shared experience with you uh, trying to uh, deal with a, a producer and a director that did not understand that uh, that film was a collaborative medium. And I, w I had wondered in my mind, it was like we sort of backed that, got, got out of that in the nick of time, but I had wondered in my mind, what if that project had gone forward and you'd be faced with somebody, and has this ever happened before in, in your career, when you realize you're being directed by somebody who, frankly, you could direct circles around and doesn't know the first thing about being an actor's director. Well, first of all, I, um, some 10, 15 years ago, I directed a production of Hamlet and realized that I was the director I had always despised. <laughs> and um, uh, it... I had, didn't have directorial ambitions at the time. I did it, in a sense, to know what the director's problems were. And um, I found out that I was naturally not a director. I'm an actor. I'm an actor, however, when people think of actors in this country, uh, people say, God, you're so smart. Why are you an actor? And my usual response to that is, I'm so smart, that's why I'm an actor. Because there's no, uh, ultimately, this art form of acting is where, where you, the last impression of this piece is in the hands of the actors, and as long as they agree on foundational principles and on, yes, I'm a villain and he's the hero, and I've worked with actors who said, no, I'm not the villain, I'm the hero, <laughs> which can really get hairy. Right. Um, uh, I told Arthur, uh, Arthur Penn, directed me in a, in a play, I said, Arthur, the play as delivered to us is Larry Gelbart's play. And he has all the rights of absolutism. And, and then he transfers that to you when you have those rights. But ultimately, I have those rights. And since I so thoroughly disagree, everything you're saying. <laughs> you be clear warning that when you leave this theater on opening night and never come back, which he does, which directors don't do, I'm telling you now, I'm going to do it my way. Because you have not persuaded me. Now, in all fairness, when I directed Hamlet, I had actors come up to me and say, well, I've never, I've never had this experience. I've never so thoroughly disagreed with yeah, as much as I do yours. And then, so I was, and I moved them around physically and told them, you know, raise your elbow on this syllable. I was, I was the most from the director's handbook. So I can understand their uh, impatience and irritability. Um, it's all very collaborative, and it's all the more you know of the other department's problem. Steven Spielberg, for instance, is probably the only current great director who really does mix it up with his masters. He, the mic is. Some of them we take and some of them we do. And he himself acted cool. So that you think what the act um, were there do. And very few directors do that They take, I've, I've been asked, what do you ask for to start the project? And I said, I ask for a relaxed and creative atmosphere. Period. I don't care 
uh, any more detail than that. If the, if the guy running the show is a, is a welcoming personality and he listens to ideas that the actors are Brit or the doctors or whatever, I'll work for him again. But I work with people who say, you're an actor, shut 